Hi, I'm Martha Wells, and I'm going to read you a sneak peek of Network Effect, the next Murderbot novel, which is coming out in May. This is for uh, to raise awareness about World Builders, which is doing their big end-of-the-year fundraiser right now. Chapter 1. I've had clients who thought they needed an absurd level of security, and I'm talking absurd even by my standards, and my code was developed by a bond company known for intense xenophobic paranoia, tempered only by desperate greed. I've also had clients who thought they didn't need any security at all, right up until something ate them. That's mostly a metaphor. My uneaten client stat is high. Dr. Arata, who is what her marital partner Overse calls a terminal optimist, was somewhere in the comfortable middle zone. Dr. Thiago was firmly in the let's investigate the dark cave without that pesky sec unit group, which is why Arata was pressed against the wall next to the hatch to the open observation deck with her palms sweating on the stock of a, of a projectile weapon, and Thiago was standing out on said observation deck, trying to reason with a potential target. That's potential, per the earlier conversation where Dr. Arata said, Oh, sec unit, I wish you wouldn't call people targets. And Thiago had given me the look that usually means it just wants to ex an excuse to kill someone. But then, that was before the potential targets started to brandish their own large projectile weapon collection. Anyway, those are the kinds of things I think about while I'm swimming under a raider vessel that's attempting to board our sea research facility. I swam out from under the stern, careful to avoid the propulsion device. I broke the surface quietly, stretched and caught the railing, and pulled myself up. The daylight was bright, the air clear, and I felt exposed. Why couldn't the stupid raiders attack at night? I had drones in the air giving me camera views of both decks of the stupid boat, so I knew this part of the stern was empty. The superstructure above me was triangular, angled back in a way to make it faster or something. I don't know, I'm a murder bot, I don't give a crap about boats. The upper deck wrapped around the bow where the forward weapon emplacement was. It gave the stupid boat a lot of blind spots, which were someone else's security nightmare. It was more sophisticated than the other boats we'd seen on this survey with better tech. Of course, that just made it vulnerable. I was also monitoring our outer perimeter and the scattered islands surrounding us in case this was a distraction and there was a second boarding attempt planned. And of course I had a camera on the unfolding shit show on the observation deck. Thiago stood out nearly four meters from the hatchway, not even wearing his protective gear, very much like a human who didn't trust his sec unit situation assessment. The apparent leader of the potential target stood at the end of the deck, barely three meters away, casually pointing a projectile weapon at Thiago. I was more worried about the six other potential targets scattered around on the stupid boat's bow deck and the nozzle of the weapon mounted above the bow deck, currently trained on the upper level of our facility. Some of the potential targets weren't wearing helmets. There's a thing you can do with these small intel drones. If your client orders you to, or if you don't have a working governor module, when the hostiles are dumb enough to get aggressive without adequate body armor, you can accelerate a drone and send it straight at the hostile's face. Even if you don't hit an eye or ear and go straight through to the brain, you can make a crater in the skull. Doing this would solve the problem and get me back to new episodes of Lineages of the Sun much more quickly, but I knew Arata would make a sad face at me and Thiago would be pissed off. we will probably have to do it anyway. Unfortunately, potential target leader was wearing a helmet. Thiago is a marital partner of Dr. Mensa's brother, which is why I gave a crap about his opinion. Also, I had no intel yet on how many hostiles were inside the boat where the controls to the large weapon were. Prematurely eliminating the visible targets, excuse me, potential targets, on deck might just tip us out of the incipient shit show into full-on shit show. There was sort of a chance that Thiago might actually talk our way out of this. He was great at talking to other humans, but had a drone waiting just inside the hatchway with Arata. Overse would be upset if I let her marital partner get killed, and I liked Arata. Still managing to sound calm despite everything, Thiago said, There's no need for any of this. We're researchers. We're not doing anything to hurt anyone here. Potential target leader said something that our facility system translated through our feed as, I showed you I'm serious. We'll take what we want, then leave you in peace. Tell the others to come out. We'll give you supplies, but not people, Thiago said. If you have nice supplies, I'll leave the people. You didn't have to shoot anyone, he, he crept into Thiago's voice. If you needed supplies, we would have given them to you. Don't worry that anyone who got shot was me. Please consider donating to World Builders. For every $10 you donate, you can win fabulous prizes and you can help make the world a better place. Thank you.